Hello, and uh, today we're going to be playing something different. So I am still playing uh, Doom. I'm already thinking of just doing the whole campaign and maybe doing things like Snap Map or multiplayer. I don't know. I am going to do the campaign, but today we're going to be playing this. This is Ex Mortis. This is an old horror Flash game, which kind of introduced me to Flash games or the idea of playing free games on the internet. Because uh, this is pretty old. I can't remember when this came out. You'll probably have to look that up because I don't remember. But yeah, it's a pretty old horror game. Which I'm, I don't, It looks weird because I tried to get a full screen version of it because I can't really... You can't kind of download the game and have it on a window or whatever. You have to play it on the internet. But So it may look a bit weird. But let's see. Uh, I don't think this... Ha this doesn't affect the recording last time I tried it. So uh, yeah. I don't know how loud it's going to be. So let's just jump straight in. Uh, yes, turn up a bit. Yes, fine. Okay, cool. Left for Web Design presents. Oh, I can't really remember this. Oh my god. Freaking jump scares. And then Left for Creation. I think there was another one, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. Alright, cool. Yeah. This game used to scare the shite out of me back then. Cause I absolutely hated it. Stop it. This bloody. Ex Mortis. I'm going to turn that slightly. I want to be able to hear myself talk, because, you know, if the game's too loud, then I can't hear myself, and I'll probably talk strangely. There's one more, isn't there? I remember. I think. Yeah, there is. <laughs> you wake up in the woods with a lump on your head. You can't remember how you get there. All you can recall are the dreams. It's late, cold, and you are unsure where you are exactly, fighting through the headache. You regain your focus and you see a house in the clearing and decide to shelter there. Anything's better than freezing to the death in the woods. <laughs> right? If you if you say so. Hey. Oh god, what the hell? Alright, ignore that. I can't find a bigger screen version, so just just don't just ignore that. <laughs> I like how you can see it go to the end. Alright, let's actually play now. Uh let's see, uh there we go. Okay. I don't remember finishing the game because I think I, I was really scared. I this honestly scared me so much. I mean, I was a lot younger, but how old was I actually? Uh, I probably was like uh, maybe nine years old or something. I, I really can't remember. Nine-ish, maybe. Uh, always sure. Yeah, this my tactic in point-and-click games is sort of stay left first, so then kind of work your way. See, uh, handle turns, but the door refuses to. Okay, that was creepy. <laughs> I thought I was losing my shit. Handle turns, but the door refuses to budge. It's almost like someone is holding it closed. <gasps> oh god, I'm not alone. It's too spooky for me. Hey, I can actually see what I'm doing when I played other version. I tried to find a full screen version, you then um one version would had a very small screen you couldn't really see, but let's see. One o'clock. Is that gonna be important? Or is it just simply telling me that it's one o'clock? One o'clock at night, I'm assuming. Uh nope. Ooh. A bloodstained knife. You should probably arm yourself with a slightly larger weapon. Are you serial? Are you super serial? Really? Why would you take that? What do you mean a larger weapon? I, by, I, by this point, any weapon would be nice. Even if it was just a, I don't know, a bloody butter knife. At least that's a weapon. <laughs> oh, a severed head. It appears to be fresh kill. Whoever the killer is, he will probably be back soon. And I don't want him to be there when he returns. I don't want him doing that voice. I don't want to be there when he returns. Ooh, that's creepy. That's an, is that an A? Looks like a symbol has been smeared on the foyer. Should I be writing this down? Uh, I don't know. I hope it's not one of those uh, bloody. I hope it's not one of those uh, point-and-click games where you need to like remember things. Because I'm terrible at those. You know, you got to check everything first before you move on. I think I'm on 666.com. 666gamer.com. This is where I'm playing it. What's that? A book. Oh, jeez. Uh, if you want to read all this, then just pause the video when I turn the page. Alright, pause the video. Pause the video. Yeah, pause the video. Yeah. I hope there's nothing important in here I have to read. Uh, okay, and yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. 
Uh, go. Thank you. Really? I can't click on these. It looks like I can interact with them. I think what made this game scary was that it's, it's the sort of graphics where you can tell it is photos of actual things. And anyway, for an old game, I think it's kind of interesting to see a game that did that. To just click everywhere. Okay, I don't think there was anything else in there. Well, not if, not, that's not important. Go back. There's something on the side here. No? Nothing up there? Oh. It's a pentagram. A star, or whatever. One, two, three. Oh, God. Do I have to remember this? I can't tell what you're supposed to remember. All right. Okay. That's all that. Okay, let's go upstairs. Upstairs we go. I think this is my first time actually recording game DVR with something different. Because all the time I've always just used... Um... Yeah, I apologise for the things on the screen. I can't really crop that out. Let's see, no. This, ha this door has no handle. Oh, great. Great. Why would you have a door with no handle? Do I have to look for a handle then? Oh, yeah, I can go that way. Cool. See, yeah, to me. Oh, the... hang on. Oh, God. Oh, God, I hear fudding. That's why I wanted to turn it up. An old oak side table. Nothing of interest here. No. Through the door. Ugh. The hell was that? Oh, it's that. Okay. There's no breeze in here, so why is this roof lamp swinging? <gasps> I don't know. Oh, that comes off. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. One, one, five, five, six, nine. I don't know. I'm trying to do my name. Okay, I'll have to look for the code. I don't... I haven't seen a code. Gramophone is unplugged. It's still rotating. How is this possible? Science! There we go. That's That's the reason. He's like saying it like it's a like a magician. How how is that possible? Oh, that's a very pixelated key. Just an ordinary. It's somewhat dirty. Thing. <laughs> the bathtub is filled. What well, seems to be blood? Really? Maybe it's just raspberry jam or something. I don't know. Toilet? Nope. <laughs> that's shit. I think. Okay, what would the key be for? Uh, I. Um, did I go to a lock door? I think I think I did. Yeah, it was back. Um, uh, it was back where the grandfather clock was. Well, all right, let's go. I, I don't know how long this game is. I don't know if it's gonna be just be one video or if. Um, oh. Ah. Uh, what? Run. Oh no! What's going on? Oh god, that, that, I, I, was, I was losing my shit, I was like, what's going on? A severed arm, the house is turning out, to, turning out to be a graveyard, I guess. There's no electricity in this house, so the lamp doesn't work. Huh. Great observation. There's something very unraveling about this sculpture. What about it? Uh... Oh. That's going to be another long thing, isn't it? Save your round, 1878, yeah. Uh, okay, I can't... That's really hard to read, but okay. Same as usual, if you're reading, if you want to read this, pause it when I turn the page. Yeah. There probably is something important, but I don't know. Maybe I should check. Let's see. Uh, well, okay, so what's the point of going in here? So I've got a key. Uh... See. Just click everywhere. Okay. Okay. So, there's, okay, what's the point in going there then? There's nothing there. Let's go back in there. See. I already checked all these. Yeah. Is that for some reason my guy's like, oh, should I quit with a bigger weapon? I want to at least equip with something. <laughs> and what's your definition of a bigger weapon? What, like a bloody, I don't know, RPG or something? I don't think we're going to find that. Uh, let's go back upstairs. Isn't there a uh, attic in this? This is literally this is literally just vague memories I remembered. So go back this way. Oh god. The door is now ajar. What? 
Oh shit, do I go in? Uh, yeah, let's go in. Oh, hello. Gwen... How do you come to that conclusion? Or or just another hallucination? What if they click on it? Oh! Uh, did I fall asleep? Uh, did I get so shocked? Wake up! Oh! Yeah, okay, I did fall asleep because that, that voice told me to wake up. Blood of Gwen Rayham stains the sheets. It was over a hundred years ago that she was murdered, so how can the blood still be wet? Maybe it's not her blood, maybe it's somebody else's. So yeah, because blood will not still be moist. Okay. There's literally nothing else of interest in there. No, isn't there an attic? No? Or maybe it's on the other side. I mean, I've pretty much checked everywhere else, and uh, there's still that code we have to look at. Ah, yes! There we go. Looks like an attic, but yeah. Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> it's just the sound of my character climbing up. Don't worry, it's nothing. Ooh. It's also hung up by the arms and been ripped to shreds. You wretch at the mere sight. Well, I personally won't. <laughs> no, I don't know. Nah, whatever. Ah, there's the code. 3489. Okay, 3489. Got it. Uh, uh, nope, that's something else. I bet my microphones is hearing my cl mouse clicks. Oh, what the hell? The door just got buttoned. Oh, why did I click on it? Three. Oh, shit, I've already forgotten it. Three, eight, four. I'm so goddamn stupid. I've already forgotten the code. Oh, go up. I literally have a memory of a goldfish. Three, four, eight, nine. Okay, three, four, eight, nine. Got it. Come on. Three, oops. Three, four, eight, nine. And so, yeah, access, access granted. Oh, it's a heart, and there's another symbol. Oh god, these symbols are probably very like use useful. Oh god, it appears to be a human heart. Okay, I've got another book, which is probably going to be like a hundred pages long. Yeah, pause the video. Pause the video. Pause the video. Pause the video. Oh, that's a weird diagram. And yes, it. I hope the game doesn't consist of you reading it because there's probably something useful that you need to know. I don't think I've ever completed this game. Not only because I was scared, but probably because I really just didn't know like where to go. That's always a problem with point and click games for me because I can never tell where you're supposed to go. I like point and click games, but I mean that's why I'm playing this. Um. Ugh, pardon me, sorry. Lord fan. Uh, let's go back in here. Door handle turns. Refuse to budge. Oh. I'll stop with that. Um, wait. I think there was something I can interact with, is there? You can see the mouse on the screen, right? Well, I mean, I hope it does, because, you know, you want to see what I'm clicking. No. No, that doesn't work. Why does it keep playing every time I use the door? Okay, I'm confused now. Where do I, What do I do? So I need something to budge the door open, or something. Do I have to find something? Like a crowbar? <laughs> Half-life it? Just Gordon Freeman, the door. Just barge it open. Uh, what the hell? I, I swear that thing just blinked. <laughs> yes, it did! Oh my god, that was... No wonder it was saying it was very unnerving, this sculpture. Ugh. <laughs> I've, I thought I was seeing things. Oh my god, this game's genius. Filled with volumes of books. Well, what else do I do? That's that's my other problem with point and click games. You I, you can never tell what you're supposed to do. I know what I sort of need to do. I need to go through that door because you know I haven't been in there yet. But what do I find? Is it something in particular? I'm assuming it's some kind of tool or something to open the door, even if it's just a. Well, it says some. It's, it says it feels like someone's holding the door. So what do I what do I have to do? Like bloody 
give them bloody food or something. I don't know. Let's see, no. And there's that bloody stupid thing that my guy doesn't want to pick up. Because, you know, oh, I want to pick a weapon. So that still annoys me. Why would you not pick that up? If you just hold the thing, and then when you find a bigger weapon, then go ahead. Let's see, oh no, that's the book. There's nothing of interest on this coffee table. Oh, look, look further. Maybe there's a key. It's not really a key I need to get. I just it says something's holding. It feels like something's holding the door. So I'm confused. What do I do? <laughs> Even to this day, I probably won't be able to finish this game. It's just not giving me, it's not sort of teach, it's not really showing me what to do. Oh, that sky thing's really kind of annoying me. <laughs> it breaks the immersion. Why does the door open that way around? The handle's on the other side. Or the non existent handle's on the other side. See, there's nothing else in here, no. Yes, yes, the blood was 100 years old. But the watch, see, the handle's there. It opens that way, what the hell? It's not ghosts we have to worry about. There's bloody, bloody poorly made doors with the hinges on the wrong way around. All right, let's go back this way. Oh, on. is that something? Wouldn't it be that? Um, let me check. I can't click that. Okay, good. I'm just trying to check everything because you know. Uh, let's go back up the attic. Yeah, what the hell? The door kind of moves. It's very weird. Another symbol. It's nothing to do with symbols, right? I mean, what what do they have to do to unlock the door? Unless maybe, or maybe, maybe it is, because I didn't see that symbol before, so maybe. Oh, that door opens fine. <laughs> Let's see. If that's the gramophone even moving? It doesn't even look like it's moving. I can't even bother to animate that. Ben Leffer, whatever his name is. Let's see. Well, I found that last symbol. Maybe that will do something. Maybe it's one of those point-and-click games where, like, you have to kind of find everything or something. Let's check. If it's closed, then I might have to stop the video and bloody find out what I'm supposed to do. Ah! Oh. Alright, shut up. Okay, I'm going to cut here and bloody... I'm going to need to use a walkthrough already because I don't know how you do this. Okay, so according to the walkthrough, there's a symbol here which I missed and apparently you're supposed to look through... You have to look at all of them to move on, so... Alright. Is that... I think that's all of them. Hey, there we go. The door slams locked behind you. Oh, shock horror. Oh, an axe. Oh, come on, we have to pick that up. Yes. <laughs> what is it, a first person shooter now? Oh, yeah. It's a bloody first person mate or first person melee thing. Uh. Okay, so you're supposed to look at all the symbols before you can move on. I thought you had to like look for something to open the door, but nope. <laughs> That's not how it works. I don't like this, we're just walking down here. What? Oh god! Oh my god, that, that actually scared me. Oh. It's all pills in the forehead. Then that must mean it's the fifth sacrifice. If not, if I'm not one of the five campers, then who, I, who am I? Oh god, I'm the killer. <gasps> Plot twist. Oops, now I've seen that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. A I thought I was going to climb through there. Nope. <laughs> nah, and also, that really did creep me out. I was like, what the hell is that noise? So I'm going to oh, kill you. Uh, wait. What? What the? Uh, what? I, okay, well, I lost my hat. There we go. Who boarded that back up? <gasps> That's... That was weird. I think I wasn't supposed to go back. 
Where do I go then? Oh. I do, couldn't tell that was a door there. Bloody hell, that was loud. Oh. Oh god, I was probably supposed to. Oh god, hello. Welcome back, child. You have served us well up until this point. Now serve us again. Become the hand of its mortis. Sorry, hold on. Yeah. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what. Oh. It's way too loud. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> I could solve the puzzle or make a run to the forest. Uh, oh shit, I really don't remember. Uh, what do I do? Oh. Uh, oh god. No. Oh, okay, good. I thought. Uh, oh crap, I don't. I can't remember. Oh, I might have to look up the walkthrough again. I even said at the start, maybe I should look at all these symbols. Maybe this might be useful or something, but no. Oh, great. Uh, uh, oh, there's be so much combinations, I won't even know. Wait, will this still record? This is where I was getting it from. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have to look through. Okay. Okay, that's helpful, sir. Uh -huh. Oh, crap. I went to my Mixcraft thing recording my voice. Uh, 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 yeah, okay, got it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, whoops, wrong way around. There we go. Oh. Also, I've never completed this game before. I never got to this point, so. Oh. I've got sort of screamers. Oh, that was it. Xbox Cult Laws Many. Ooh. Sorry, right, I need a. This music's really loud, son. Okay, that was cool. I never actually completed this, although I've played it for years. Because it was bloody confusing. I mean, I could have looked up a walkthrough back then, but I don't know. And if I recall, there was an export is two, and there's even a third one, I believe. Okay, so that that's the game. Really cool. I just saw it again and thought I must well make a video on it because it was sort of a flash game kind of history, I guess. Okay, so thank you for watching this, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>